Welcome back to Master Mixes on YouTube. I'm Dean Cerniels, and today we're getting back into some more of the techniques behind the tools that we have behind the bar. I've spent many years training bartenders and lots of different people about muddlers and different techniques that we can use. We use muddlers in order to press the juices out of lemons and limes and other citrus. We want to use them also to break up our berry fruits. And when we're pressing our lemons and limes, we want to get in and extract some of the uh, essential oils out of the lime or the lemon wheel as well. All right. So when we do that, some bartenders are like, I don't have time to muddle. And I take a look at the tools and that's because they're using a really tiny little muddler. So there's not a very big coin on the bottom of that. So it means they have to do lots of extra presses. I've said, let's get a big muddler with a big coin on the bottom. So all you need to do is three or four presses on it and it doesn't take too much extra time. See what I'm saying? Let's get into creating a cocktail. I wanna create a classic bramble for us. There's some lemons and some fresh blackberries. Just going to drop those right inside there. Some people like to add sugar as well. The sugar actually works to grind the outside of the lemons and the limes to pull those oils out. So here we are. Let's get rid of that little guy. And I just want to press in. Now, one of the keys to muddling is five, six, maybe seven presses. And that's all we really need. If we start pressing the lemons and limes too much, we start extracting flavor from the pith of the lemon and lime, and that adds a bitter flavor to the drink. So if you over muddle the drink, you could absolutely ruin the entire cocktail. All right, so that's nice and simple. There it is. And I'll pour some crushed ice over top of that. And now I'm going to build my cocktail. Two ounces of gin and one one. So two gin, one sour and one sweet. Master of Mixes, Cocktail Essentials, Single Pressed Lemon Juice, which is exactly as it says, just one pressing of lemon. And now I have cane sugar and water, simple syrup, exactly what that says as well. <laughs> Very simple syrup. Let's give this a shake. So now we're pouring a finished cocktail over top of the crushed ice. These ingredients are nice and cold and we'll stop the fresh ice from melting too fast. There we go. Looks great. And we get our long handled spoon so we can dig into the bottom and now lift those ingredients from the bottom up into the drink. So when we start sipping this drink, we're going to be able to eat the little bits of pulp and the fresh berries are gonna be popping in our mouths with the, uh, with the flavors all mixed together. There we go, beautiful. We could top it up for presentation with just a little bit more crushed ice. Garnish with lemon and a bit of berry or two. Here's a great bramble. Now let's work with freshly pressing all the fruit and then extracting it from the drink. So there's strawberries and some raspberries. Oh, there's a piece of orange and lemon. We can make this up as we go. And we'll get in there and press them. I do a push down and I turn a little bit to extract as much flavor and grind that fruit together. All right, again, not too, too much because I don't want to extract the uh, bitter flavors out of the, uh, out of the pulp. Ice cubes over top. And now let's just build our margarita. Four and a half ounces or two ounces of tequila, your choice. And three ounces of Master of Mixes Margarita Mix with real lime juice and real cane sugar. Pour it over top and now we are going to shake. We're going to break up the ice cubes but we're also going to infuse all those great flavors together. Bringing the real fruit into the drink. Look at all that pulp floating around inside of there. Thanks to our muddling. Bring in our fancy coupe glass and we want to strain this one. I'm also going to use this tea strainer or a fine strainer. This is going to collect all the little bits of ice cubes, but it's also going to grab all the pulp and bits of fresh fruit. Just for a different presentation. So 
In this case, when I'm muddling, I'm using it to extract the flavors of the fruit, where on the other one, I wanted to use it to extract the flavors, but also leave the pulp behind. So here we go, I'll give this a couple of taps, just so I look like a mixologist. And inside here, you'll see all kinds of little bits of ice and some kind of jam from the pulp there. And there it goes out of the way. We'll come in here with a uh, fresh strawberry and a blackberry to just float on top. I'm gonna let them float around inside of there. And last but certainly not least, I want to float a little blackberry liqueur on top of my drink right before the presentation. Here's the ins and outs of modeling. Again, just press a little bit, extract what you need, and get back into making drinks. Thanks for joining us today on Master Mixes on YouTube. I'm Dean Sir Niels, we'll see you on the next one.